Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Kimberly and I'm so excited about today's video because I have not posted in about six weeks. So this is like my comeback video. This is my hello, I'm back, a lot has happened and I took an unexpected break to deal with some personal things like I moved into this apartment here in Houston and that's kind of a segue in today's topic. But before I begin, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimberly. I'm an American and I post videos about Germany. So if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, please hit the subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free, but it means the world to me. So let's kind of talk about today's topic. Today, we are going to be talking about reverse culture shocks. So moving back to Houston has been interesting to say the least and I definitely feel like I haven't experienced the Houston life to its fullest obviously because of what's happening right now but I definitely have experienced some reverse culture shocks already and it's such an interesting feeling because I grew up, lived in Houston my whole life and so to know that Germany's already made a big impact in my life that it's strange to me to do things American way. Um, it's really interesting. So I kind of want to go over some reverse culture shocks I've experienced. Again, this really is not that serious, guys. It's not meant to offend you. Something that's different is not bad. It's not bad if it's the American way. It's not bad if it's the German way. It's just different. So please don't turn this into a little political warfare down in the comments below. I love you guys, but it often ends up that way. So now that we're over that housekeeping stuff, let's go ahead and begin. So the number one thing that shocks me about living in the US is the way we write dates. So in Germany, you write it by day, month, year. And in the US, it's written month, day, year. And I feel like I'm just internally screwed and I don't ever know what to do anymore. So like, I'm just like, every time I have to write a date, when I was signing my papers for the apartment and everything, it's just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so it does make more sense to me the German way though, because it would be, day, month, year, and that makes sense to me because it's like the smallest to the biggest, right? I don't really, but then again, it's also nice to like know what month it is when you first look at the date. I don't know, either way is fine, but it's left me kind of confused on which way to write it. So the second thing that was a big reverse shock to me is the weather. And America is so huge, so it's definitely different no matter where you are. Um, in the US, we have Texas, which I'm living in, and it's really hot, and then you have New York, and I think that's more similar to German weather. But here in Texas, especially coastal Texas, it's so hot and humid. Like, I straighten my hair and it doesn't even look that straight. Like, it doesn't last. My skin is greasy all the time. And let's not even get into natural disasters. Like, there was a tornado warning yesterday. There's thunderstorms that happen every week. But I will say that I do enjoy thunderstorms a lot more than how it's just kind of consistently and constantly raining in Germany, but it's never hard enough for you to like stay inside and enjoy, but it's just icky outside. I don't really love that weather. So I am enjoying the weather here, but it's really gonna suck when hurricane season comes around. So maybe I'll have a whole vlog around that because that's definitely an interesting experience. It's almost a little bit like the whole situation right now where everything's closed down and you have to escape. Except you should not be escaping with this situation. You should be staying at home and social, social distancing. Jeez, I forgot how hard it is to make YouTube videos. So another reverse culture shock that I experienced is the walkability. So I'm living central and it is definitely a lot more walkable here. There are sidewalks and there's a lot of dog walkers around, but sidewalks just 
end. So before you decide that you want to walk somewhere here, you really should reconsider that because you might be walking and the sidewalk just might end and you might have to just turn around and go the other way. I don't really understand why it's like this and I think here in the city it shouldn't be an issue, but it is. And uh, I really miss how walkable everything is in Germany and you just always see people walking or riding a bike and you do see people here doing that too, but not to the extent like Germany and it's definitely just a bigger car culture. Um, so I do miss the walkability of Germany and it was a big reverse culture shock to realize how crappy the sidewalks are and how they literally just end like out of nowhere. You just see the end and there's just grass and it just looks unfinished. If I can find a video of it, I'll post it here. But it really kind of infuriates me. I wanna do this long walk and the sidewalk just says no. So this one might be a little bit controversial, but I think that everything here is just way more expensive. My rent price is astronomical. Groceries here are so expensive. And I just miss German prices. The rent is a lot cheaper and groceries are a lot cheaper. I think one week of groceries here costs me two or three weeks in Germany. Does that make sense? One week here? Yeah, yeah, it's cheaper in Germany basically is my point. Like one week of groceries that I buy here, I can get three weeks worth in Germany. The prices here are just insane. But I also think in regards to groceries, the portion sizes are way bigger in the US. And as a single girl living in this apartment, I would love to have smaller portion sizes because I really don't need a family size eight piece chicken legs. Um, but sometimes I just don't have an option and I have to buy that. Sorry, my dog was yapping. So maybe that also contributes to the high grocery store prices here in the US because you do get more. I don't know, but I personally miss grocery store prices in Germany and I do love the grocery store experience in Germany, but I think that's just because I always prefer grocery store experiences in foreign cultures because I love foreign foods, but yeah. Prices here, a lot more expensive. I do think that clothes and electronics here are cheaper than in Germany, but day-to-day -day life is just so much cheaper in Germany compared to the US. Also, I hate how you never know what you're actually paying for because tax is never included. <laughs> Another reverse culture shock for me was recycling and I really love to recycle and I moved into this apartment complex and there's a recycling room right down the hallway so I was so excited about that. I was like yes. What was the first thing that I did? I went to Walmart and I got different bins to sort everything out. But I was really surprised and shocked when I went to go throw away my plastic and my paper that there was no bins. So the recycling room is literally just that. It's a room and you put all of your recyclables in there but it's all mixed together. So I don't really understand how that's recycling and if it's actually getting recycled or if the maintenance workers are actually separating it. I don't really know what's happening there, but that was really interesting to me. If you're a recycling enthusiast expert, please let me know down in the comments below. Are these things actually getting recycled? Is this a legitimate thing to have plastic and paper together? And I just don't know, but that was really interesting and I absolutely do not understand it and it feels like a waste of my time to even recycle because if I'm separating everything and I take it to this room, what do I do? I don't understand. Please explain to me if you are the apartment that I'm living at and you're watching this video, please explain to me y'all's recycling process because I just don't understand it. Last but not least, and I gotta mention it, this is a classic, water. I freaking miss 
sparkling water so much. Just still water is just so bland and boring and just not as fun to drink with meals. And you just can't find sparkling water here. And if you do, it's really freaking overpriced. And it's really common here to have aluminum can sparkling water, but it tastes weird. It doesn't taste the same. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to invest in a soda stream pretty soon. So that way I can have my sparkling water because I really just miss the carbonated water feeling. Most Americans are pretty disgusted by sparkling water from my personal experience. So you can get it everywhere in Germany in huge bottles for so cheap. That's just awesome and it's easy to recycle too because here it's just not a thing and I really miss the recycling system in Germany. But yeah, so that's all I have to say. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to like it and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world to me and if you even want to know me further, then please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Kim Crosses Borders. Let me know down in the comments below, have you ever experienced any reverse culture shocks? And I will see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss. This den.